uh, he's right. Dr. Barnes. Uh, uh, David McCord. Yeah, introduce yourself. Yeah. Uh, Craig Stanley, uh, a cousin of uh, Congressman. Donald Jr. Yeah, you look like the pain. Just uh, <laughs> tell me that. Old, just say I look more like a pain. Than yes, yes, it happens. But, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, no, it was a tremendous young man and uh, going much too soon. Yes. Uh, he, uh, he, he, he knew he had a great welcome when he got to Congress. Yes, we, we couldn't wait to get him there. Because, uh, because, you know, his father's legacy. That's right. People open their arms to him. Yes. But it was, it was his own his own personality, yes. his own humility, mm -hmm. his own sense of humor, yes. and um, and his, his, his own way of dealing with people yes. that won him really over in his own right. Yes. Tremendous public servant. We'll miss him. Yes. He really one in a million. Really yes. Kind of yes. Young yes. Young. He he filled his father's shoes very well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, you know, I work at the airport, and when his father would come and be flying out I would walk behind his father, never wanted to get caught up with him, but I would just walk behind him trying to get something, yeah. some of that uh, energy or something, you right. know, because right. he was a great man, but both of them, you know, Absolutely. yes, without a doubt. Tremendous public service. Yes, right. yes. We so, pray that someone can carry the flag like they did. Absolutely. Yes. God bless you. Bless you. All right. Brother, brother. How are you doing? Yes. Yes. Uh, introduce yourself for the camera and for the people so they know exactly who you are. Uh, my name is Samoy Davis, District Leader in District 22. Okay. Bring your voice up. Yeah. The importance of any impact. Okay. Yes. And he, he actually made sure. And so much stuff that, you know, when I was looking through a lot of different Instagram, social media aspects, there were so many things that he'd been involved with. In terms yes. Of rights, uh, in terms of African American rights, social rights, yes. all over the world. Uh, and there was so much stuff that. He, of course, we had a calendar for the next three to four or five years. Yes, yes. In terms of things that, that are needed to have been done. If somebody was actually take, out his, take a look at his daily diary and daily law, there's a lot of work that he was just long on strategic planning, making sure that we collectively move forward and, and do the right thing for future generations and that. And he was pretty simple, free to some people all over the world. Yes, and especially for this area here. Uh, you know, when I look at Newark today, 2024, and just go back to the uh, Ford administration, 1974, I have to believe that his daddy, senior, and him played a, a great part in what we're standing on here today. Am I off point by saying that? Am I am I, I point? You, I think you can do it wrong. Yes. I think that um, each generation, generation, new attitude, generation, new attitude, yes. can't move forward without going back. To That's right. Right. Because we don't want to muddy their waters as well. So there's a lot of things that, a lot of paths that have been developed uh, from his, his, his father, mm -hmm. his uncle, yes. in terms of John's mission. There's so many things that the family has done collectively to make sure that New Jersey moves forward, to make sure that it impacts uh, all of the world. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. And their love for us is unconditional. Yes. <laughs>